The final full moon of the summer rises bright in the night sky on Tuesday, known as the corn moon. It only happens once every three years. September's full moon was given its name by the Algonquin tribes living in the northeastern USA. They named it for the first of year when they harvested staple crops like corn, pumpkins, squash, beans, and wild rice. According to NASA, this full moon is also known as the fruit moon and barley moon in Europe, the Hungary ghost moon in China, the Binara Pura Pasalov's Vaka Poya Day in Sri Lanka, and the honey full moon for Buddhists in Bangladesh and Thailand. For Hindus in India, it marks the end of the 10 day celebration of Onam and the start of Pitri Paksha, which honors their ancestors through food offerings. NASA also refers to this full moon as the Grail Moon, the Lady Moon, and the R Series Rex Moon to mark three missions that launched on the day of the full moon in 2011, 2013, and 2016, respectively. Typically, September's full moon is called the Harvest Moon because it is the closest to the fall equinox on September 22. But every third year, a full moon comes in October that is closer to the equinox, allowing September's full moon to use its traditional name, the corn moon. This year, the harvest moon won't arrive until October 1. That means October gets two full moons. The other is a blue moon, occurring on Halloween, October 31. The full moon will rise just after sunset on Tuesday, September 1, reaching peak illumination at 1.22 a.m., estimated early Wednesday morning. NASA said, the moon will appear full about three days around this time, and sky watchers may also be able to see Jupiter, Saturn, and Mercury in the night sky around this time. As usual, the wearing of suitably celebratory celestial attire is encouraged in honor of the full moon, NASA said, and you might want to gather your fruits, vegetables, and other staples, avoid war, remember your ancestors, ask for forgiveness, and let go of grudges, the space agency added, referencing the customs of various religions and cultures during the month of September. Here's wishing you have a good year.